Hey guys, welcome to ASA Technical. If you are struggling with making your Windows 11 computer visible on your network or having issues with the network sharing, you are in the right place. Today, I will walk you through a complete and detailed guide on how to enable network sharing and ensure all the necessary services are running to make your computer discoverable. So, let's get started. When you enable network sharing on Windows 11, it allows other devices on the same local network to access shared files, folders, and printers. But sometimes, even after enabling sharing, your computer might not show up on the network. The issue could be due to certain services that are not running. But don't worry, here we will fix network discovery not working on Windows 11 and Windows 10 step by step. To get started, let's enable network sharing in Windows settings. First, click on start button or press Windows plus I to open the settings. Navigate to network and internet from the left sidebar. Click on your active network connection like Wi-Fi or Ethernet. Ensure that your network profile is set to private. A private network profile makes your computer discoverable on your local network. Next, scroll down and select Advanced Network Sharing. Under More Settings, click on Advanced Sharing Settings. To enable network discovery, simply toggle it on. This makes your PC visible to other devices. Next, to enable file and printer sharing, toggle it on as well. Remember, if you are using a public network, it's generally safer to keep these settings off unless you absolutely need to share files. Next, do the same process on your another PC if you want to enable data sharing on your both computers. So, now we have enabled the basic network sharing settings. After enabling network sharing, you can check once by going to network section and I hope your problem is solved. If your computer still is not visible, we need to check and enable some crucial Windows services. To do this, press Windows plus R to open the run dialog box. Type services.msc and press enter. This will open the services manager. Here are some key services you need to check and enable. And do the same process on your both computer. First, you will need to enable function discovery resource publication and function discovery provider host. This service makes your PC discoverable and allows it to share resources with other devices on the network. Now right click on it, select properties and set the setup type to automatic. If the service is not running, click start. Next, you will need to enable DNS client. This service is crucial for network communication as it helps resolve domain names. Ensure the service is running and set to automatic. Next, you will need to enable SSDB discovery. This helps discover network devices like printers, media players using the SSDB protocol. Set the startup type to automatic and click start if it's not running. Next, you will need to enable UPnP device host. UPnP stands for Universal Plug and Play. This service is used for automatic discovery of devices on the network. Make sure it is running and set to automatic. Next, you will need to enable Peer Name Resolution Protocol, Peer Networking Grouping, and Peer Networking Identity Manager if available. These services help with home group and peer-to-peer -peer networking. 
Set these two automatic if needed and start them. Next, you will need to enable TCP IP NetBIOS helper. It's used in environments where NetBIOS over TCP IP is required, especially for older networks. Set to automated and start it. Next, you will need to enable Workstation. This service is essential for managing network connection and accessing shared resources. Make sure it's running and set to automatic. Next, you will need to enable server. Enables your computer to share files and printers with other devices. Set to automatic and ensure it's running. Next, do the same process on your another PC. Once you have enabled all these services, don't forget to restart your computer. This ensures all the settings take effect properly. After restarting, let's see our shared drive is showing up in the network section or not. As you can see, a drive on this computer is already shared. Now let's see if the shared drive of another computer is showing in the network section of this computer or not. Ok, as you can see, our another computer's drive is showing in the network section of this computer. Now let me show you by transferring some files from another computer's drive to this computer. Ok, as you can see, the Windows 11 ISO file has been successfully transferred without any problem. Note, sometimes your firewall can block network discovery. Make sure to allow files and printer sharing through your Windows Defender firewall or any third party firewall. Double check that your network is still set to private. And that's it, your Windows 11 PC should now be visible and ready to share resources on the network. So, I hope this guide was helpful for you. If you have any question or any advanced guide, then please let us know. Please like, comment and share. We need your support. And guys, please don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.